The city's persistent violence and officer staffing shortages took center stage as the commissioner answered questions before the federal judge in charge of Baltimore police reform. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live at federal court to break down some of the biggest challenges facing law enforcement. Mike. And Nikki, we'll start with staffing. The commissioner says there have been a lot of retirements and some new recruits just not making the cut. The judge, Judge James Bradar, says he cannot stress enough how serious these shortages are, but acknowledges that police can't fix them alone. It is not just frightening, but it's also disheartening. Blanca Tapawasco, a mother and educator from Southeast Baltimore, did what few other citizens have done. She came directly to the federal consent decree hearing to get an update on the problems facing Baltimore police. She's heartbroken about recent violence that has killed teenagers in the city, the same ages as her own children. I have a 15-year-old at NAF. I have a 16-year-old at Merville. So this is that, that this is another grieving family, and we all grieve as a community. Why do we keep losing kids? Why we don't have enough police staff? Obviously, we heard this here. We have we they have a net loss. We don't have a community that wraps around. The federal judge overseeing police reform says the shortage of officers is critical and unsustainable for the department. 279 officers left last year, while only 103 were hired. One week ago, the police union warned there are not enough officers to keep people safe. We've already improved the pay. We're the highest in the state. We have more incentives than all the other agencies. Now it's about improving the working conditions to make people really want to stay. While the judge praised reforms in training and policies, he acknowledged persistent violent crime. Angel Sela knows it firsthand, telling us she was shot at in West Baltimore this week. Next thing I know, I hear POW! And I'm, I'm, I'm ducking like this. I thought I was in heaven. <laughs> I really did. New State's Attorney Ivan Bates showed up for the hearing, something his predecessor did not do. Here's why he says it's important. How can we be better partners to understand what we need to do to support them, to put better cases together at the end of the day to make sure we serve the citizens to have a safer Baltimore? And police say overall misconduct, complaints against officers, and use of force incidents are down. Reporting live at Federal Court, Mike Helgren, WJZ.